The National Chief of the Assembly of First Nations was in Stratford this weekend to talk about Canadian citizenship. At roundtable discussions, he encouraged people to expand their knowledge of Aboriginal history in an effort to understand what it means to be Canadian. CTV's Nadia Matos was at today's talk and joins us now. Nadia. Well, Abigail, Chief Sean Atlio says a country like Canada won't grow to its full potential until it embraces the First Nations experience. This is the first time the people in this room have met. They're eager to talk about what needs to be done for the Canadian identity to include an Aboriginal history. One of the most important things would be to get to the, the, the ministries of education across the country. I don't see the change that needs to be done for, for the dominant society, the dominant culture, to uh, uh, honour and respect the treaties. The roundtable discussion is part of the LaFontaine Baldwin Symposium that brings leading thinkers to challenge Canadian way of thinking. This year, the keynote speaker is Sean Ainchut Atlio, the National Chief of Assembly of First Nations. In his talk, Atlio did speak about the recent published historical research that showed malnourished Aboriginal children and adults were used for nutritional experiments in the 1940s. And it's really part of the story of not being uh, recognized, not being seen. And it's part of the denial of our rights and our title and the treaties. And it's part of the long struggle that uh, we fought in the courts. He says most Canadians were shocked to hear this is a part of our history. One of the key points at today's discussion was that Canada needs a new identity. One that includes the First Nations voice. Something that until recently Canadian author and co-chair of the Institute of Canadian Citizenship, John Ralston Saul, says just wasn't happening. The, the discourse has really for so long acted as if Aboriginal peoples were somehow to the side or in the past or, you know, in fact, this is, they're making this enormous comeback. Now, Atlio says perhaps the only way to change the Canadian identity is to make a structural change within the government. Abigail? CTV News at 6 with Megan Furman. Good evening. If you're looking for work, it's likely a tough go and it just got harder. Stats